Praise the Lord, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV. I had a startling revelation, and I'm going to tell you something that uh, is absolutely a solution to everyone's problem. I think I've stumbled upon one of the greatest revelations I've ever received, and it seems so obvious, but yet I haven't heard anybody talk about it much. I want to call it the spirit of achievement. The spirit of achievement is, is just the most paramount, um, paramount thing that everybody needs. It's absolutely the solution to everybody's problem. I'm telling you, I'm telling you for real. This is real. Uh, I'm going to be speaking more about this. Uh, I just wanted to do a can opener here. A bottle opener, whatever you want to call it. Hey, you guys that are coming on, God bless you. The spirit of achievement. I, I think that anybody that has a problem in any, in any kind of way, there's a lack of achievement of something. Now, you can broad stroke the canvas. Okay? On... The topics uh, underlying what different people want or what they should be involved in or what they need to be involved in based on two things, the will of God, the plan of God, and also um, what they, what they are, have, have an affinity for. Affinities for. It could be relationship, it could be career, it could be a lot. A lot has to do with career, you know. And business and finance and even recreation and things like that uh, but especially vocation which is vocal the word vocation comes from voc vocal which we get the word sound and voice you I mean uh, really sound from a, from a human voice the voice we get the word voice from that voice vocal vocation not vacation. You should, you know, a little side note here. You could ask people, are you on vocation or vacation? Are you hard at work or hardly at work? You ever heard that? And that's a true thing, man. It's a terrible thing. Like, vacation's okay for a minute. It's open to straw here with this juice. It's like, a, it's, like it's made out of cardboard. Are these people serious? This is a very high-level hotel. What should I do with this? This is supposedly some kind of carrot, turmeric, ginger, apple, whatever. Thing. I'm going to try it. Praise God. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, the Lord is, is uh, showing this to me. That every problem can be traced to this. Every loss in your life can be traced to a misplaced trust. You didn't, you trusted the wrong thing, the wrong person, the wrong story, the wrong spiel, the wrong program. It was, it was not real. It was a lie. It was this, it was that. And the persons involved are evil. I can say a lot about that. You know. The cause of loss. The cause of, of sadness and frustration in a person's life is the lack of achievement. The lack of achievement. In, in some area. Now, there's these people that, especially coming uh, uh, up, uh, trying to say like, well, everything in life is not based on money and material things and success like some people try, would try to say that the way they count success in their life is not uh, uh, dollars and cents pennies and pence pounds and pence I mean dollars and cents pounds and pence euros and what loonies and toonies if you're in Canada you know those one dollar and two dollar coins and all the other currencies, yeah, okay, uh, make your point. 
You know that old song, the best things in life are free? Da 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 da. But there's one thing I need to see. I want money. That's what I want. <laughs> money. <laughs> That's what I want. Da 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 da. Da da da. That's what I want. Da 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 da. The best things in life are free, but tell it to the birds and the bees. I want money. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Money answers all things. The achievement of money gives you options. You know, I, I could talk a whole message just on that. But where there's frustration, where there's any sadness or a feeling of uh, unfulfillment in any arena, a department of life, it's, it's based on um, the, the thing about achievement. Achievement is it. Why do people have visions? Why do they go to uh, major... Strides and strivings and lengths and, and, and zeal and aggressive action and investment and time and pushing, you know, to, to, to achieve. Because achievement gives you satisfaction. Now, if you're a, a goal-oriented person or like an achievement-oriented person, you're going to be like uh, um, very, very miserable if you're not achieving enough. This is a fact, Jack. This is a story, Lori. This is the real deal, Neil. And when you're not being able to be productive enough, that is very, very, very frustrating. Yeah, money. Money's a byproduct of, of service. Money's a byproduct of solving problems. And Achieving, you know, wealth and blessing in your life, what we call blessing, or let's just call it uh, finance, currency, assets, cash, um, abundance, provision. All of that is, yeah, amen. All of that is, uh, is a ticket to bring you to higher levels. It's not an end in itself. It's a thing to use. You know, someone that think that doesn't think money could be a happy experience in your life, they haven't had much, or they got they just got some demon somewhere lying to them, telling them something else. Rubbish, rubbish. That's a British cuss word, right? R rubbish, R rubbish, garbage. Taka taka. That's how they say in Nairobi, Swahili. Maybe that's. Maybe that's the Shang slang, taka taka. What a joke. Garbage. The, you, need, you need so much to be able to do so much. That's a settled fact. I don't think I need to belabor the point on that. But I, I feel that people are messed up when they can't achieve enough. And that is the real deal. I'm going to continue in this. Don Ray, from whence comest thou? Bless you, man. Welcome on. Yeah, money is root and fruit, a tool to advance. Onward, Christian soldier, resources to make things happen. So the Lord is... Uh, speaking to me about this. I'm going to continue on this. I'm going to get real deep into it. To break the spirit of, of lack, to break the spirit of uh, demons that, that are diverting you from achieving. And that's why you feel so unfulfilled and that's why maybe your set of circumstances is not the best because you just haven't achieved enough. More on this on the next broadcast. I love you. Thomas Matthew IV. Remember the great words of our prophet Isaiah, my great, 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 great ancestor in the prophetic, 
Um, Isaiah 48, 17. He said, speaking for the Lord. I am the Lord. This is the Lord speaking. I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. It leads you in the way you should go. I'm writing several books right now. Several, several books. I have dozens, literally dozens of books that I'm writing. It's amazing. And I'm bringing it out. And I want to do this, this study from the, the Bible also. Just scripture based on like these things, like Isaiah 48, 17. You think it's not about achievement and profiting, and being led and being productive? Hey, wh where'd you get that from? Then? It's in the Bible, you, you know? Wherever you put the sole of your foot and tread upon that land, it's yours, God said to Joshua. What about that? Deuteronomy 8.18, I'm the Lord your God who will give you power to get wealth. What about that? And so much. So much. And we, we I'm gonna do I wanna do a, a prophetic seminar on this. I'm I'm arranging this uh, notes and PowerPoints and teaching and all this. I'm gonna do this and you're a pastor. You should invite me to come. I can really help you and your people and really help your church. I can really, 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 really teach on this and, and give you like the thing to just make that deposit from heaven and impartation to understand success, wealth creation, generation, provision is a signpost to the next season. God is really, 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 really speaking to me about this. I, I'm telling you. So we're going to prepare the, the whole notes and the presentations and have my, some of my materials. I've also done some phenomenal teachings on the power to get wealth, on wealth creation, the transfer of wealth, the laws of success. And we have many materials on that. And also, all, all of them are going into books as well right now. So uh, the, know this. The Lord wants you to be an achiever. He, he's the one that thought of it first. He's the one that created before that. And in, in any way that you're not achieving all that he wants and all that you even want leaves you in a place of lack somewhere. And that is not the will of God. So I pray that the fire comes. You know, Sometimes we feel these things deeply and, and have a lot of experiences in, in life as we go. And it gives us the greatest revelation to teach the body of Christ. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in that. I'm in that. And the Lord has shown me this in very deep ways. So I pray that you'll become the achiever that God wants you to be and that you also want to be. And I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Thanks for being my partner and friend. I love you. Talk to you again soon. ThomasManton.com is the website, which is being redone as we speak. Um, very, very needfully so. <laughs> and uh, a lot of new messages, teachings, and things are coming out. I'm working on those. And I look forward to seeing you in a city near you where I'll be. I'm not saying I'm going to travel everywhere because I don't take I don't take a lot most engagements uh, invitations I have or opportunities I have to go. The Lord has to tell me, but the Lord will is speaking to me and he will tell me many places where I need to get to. And uh, man, it's just like a prophetic release, a mega drop from heaven wherever he has me get to and um, I can really help you in the area of understanding and also the prophetic manifestation that comes by, uh, behind the prophetic word and the spoken word to, uh, to, to see these things manifested in your life the great provision the great miracles financially the great abundance and increase and elevation and promotion that God wants to bring to you. The prophet does carry this anointing for this. So I look forward to seeing you as we can. And we'll also be talking here online on the next broadcast. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm declaring that you will be successful. And you will be a great achiever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So be it.